it! Oh god, this is an emergency! Did I use too many exclamation points? Reagan! That's my AI assistant, Ray Gone. Ray Gone, meet my boyfriend, Ron Stadler. Ah, a romantic interest. Would you like to build a Stadler bot to practice making out with? What? I can explain. I was horny and impatient. And I thought you had to be smart to work for the deep state. Uh, Listen, asshole, I'm the smartest person in this room. Guys, now there's a talking pillow that determines who speaks. Uh, it's fluffy and relaxing. Wow, dickbag, who the hell are you? I'm the one who told Kanye about politics. Reagan. Gigi, this is my source, Stadler. Oh, you two are banging, aren't you? What? what? No. What? No. I'm sorry. Not. Gross. Who's, who's, no offense. Else say that? That's crazy. Why would We're you not. think that? Oh, oh, this really is some deep folk shit. I love it, honey. Rings and man of rings. Sack that you have to meet my BFF's BF. Element OP. Sorry, when I get excited, I just start saying letters. <laughs> w. Brett, this is Ron Statler. Statler, this is Brett Hand. Nice to meet you, man. Oh, oh, okay. oh, oh okay. Uh, okay. Uh, sorry. Oh, 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 no worries. <laughs> But premarital sex is so sinful. Uh huh. And so hot. This is my crotch to bear. <laughs> 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 oh! Right? You don't mind your holiness. It's a good Oregon. Forget about it. A mamma mia. Let's go. Ha 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 ha. Oh man. If God is real, I'm fucked. Try being the guy who deletes those memories. Then you're the only one who has to live with them. Wow. I thought you had to be cool to work in the Illuminati. Let's take a silent moment. <laughs> God damn it. They're at it again. Great. Now I'm going to have nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, no response yet, but at least in this version of the apocalypse, we're still dating. I think therapy is definitely working. You know what? I think I need some more therapy. Anything you'd like to share with the group? Oh, yeah, I, I was just looking for my Tic Tacs, which I, um... Which she left in my mouth. We, uh, we left Tic Tacs in each other's mouths. Good save. Gotta commit. You son of a bitch. Hey, what the fuck do you think you're doing here? You're sabotaging my sabotage. Uh, you're the smartest one in the room, you tell me. I'm not telling Jack to a guy who looks like an 80s supervillain. Would you believe <laughs> this is the second time <laughs> I've been tased today? Judging by your personality, ugh, that sounds about right. It's okay, Brett. You don't have to like me. We both care about Reagan, and that's enough. Wait, so you're saying it's okay to not like you? No one's ever said that to me before. Brett? Such radical empathy. No, 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 no. I... Fight it, Brett! I finally like you now! Bring it in! That's really fucking sweet! But now your DNA is useless! Quick! Follow me into that owl's ass! I deserve this, Reagan. I scramble the brains of innocent people, and I still quote Borat sometimes. I can't believe we knocked out the Pope. I can't believe we brainwashed Alex Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Why? In college, I was a conspiracy theorist. I believe that behind the chaos, there must be some secret group of geniuses that could save the world. Oh, cry me a river. Excuse me? You know who she is, right? That's the daughter of Rand Ridley, head of Cognito Inc. Miss Nepotism case here is crying because she has to wait a little bit longer for her dream job. Where's all your stuff? Who needs the baggage? Let's do... Whoa, this hotel room is like the Coliseum of broom closets. And so many less cleaning supplies. Look at all the natural light. I've never seen it on your face before. Nice face, by the way. Wait until you see the restaurant that I booked us tonight. Yelp calls it one of the top five bistros. I always cry at gay dog weddings. Nah, I gave them six months.
Ron isn't an addiction. He's a healthy distraction. Well, we all have groping mechanisms. I mean, uh, coping. We were <laughs> we were definitely coping in there. <laughs> groping mechanisms. <laughs> you dork. Hey, fine. The closer I let people get to me, the more they get hurt. Can you just let me in? I could ask you the same question, dude. We practice a couple of traditional greetings for the Pope. No time, but don't worry. I've been training my robo-arms to learn Italian. Pronto, pronto, prego pasta. Not offensive to Italians at all. What about biz leisure? It sounds so clunky now. Maybe it always did. Ugh, this is why I don't date. What? Whoa, weird. A reality where we work together. I'm busy, Ron. Don't you have a monkey to lobotomize? Uh-oh. God, why do smart people always make dumb mistakes? Uh, because the smarter you are, the better you are at rationalizing stupid decisions. That's why the smartest people end up working for the worst companies. It's not just what I do for work. I used to return VHS tapes without rewinding. I don't even know why. I'm like the Joker. Hey, uh, I'm supposed to tag you out? <sighs> Thank fucking Satan. This guy was just crying over a ladybug he killed when he was six. I was just trying to read your mixed signals about relationships. I mean, what the hell are we even doing? You never mentioned that. I'm not a mind reader. Well, you're in a related field. You're the only one who really sees through it all. So, I don't know, maybe after we get out of here, we could be fucked up together? The power vested in me by me, I now pronounce you two very good boys. You may now share a plate of spaghetti, which is Italian dog romance custom. Wow, I really enjoy rivalry sex, apparently. Something's wrong with me. No, something is wrong with us. <laughs> Boo, Gordy. Dather, wine bottle, now! Should we maybe talk about your drinking? To hit him with, idiot! So, I'm not just a boyfriend, I'm like a wedding date boyfriend. Yeah, it's always good to have someone at a wedding to talk, talk shit, shit about, about everybody, everybody there. there. Ugh, why won't Ron text me back? Well, I... Come on, you know my John Cusack damaged outsider vibe doesn't make the best first impressions. I'm a fourth impression kind of guy. When in Rome, right? Yeah, I was waiting for an opportunity for one of us oh, to say you that. you gotta say it. Got it's it. half the reason people come here. Wow. It's like a this homeless family of Ugh. licorice wow. squatting in my mouth. Gross. Everyone uh, really put work into their costumes. I was going for more of a detached irony vibe. Maybe I should change. No, 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 no. Everyone is going to love you. Cool. Fall harvest fluoride. Chocolate chip cure for cancer? And they still have four loco? And... Five loco? The fifth loco is time. Gigi, you remember Statler. How can I forget? Reagan doesn't have a lot of girlfriends, so she tells me everything. Penis size. <laughs> Later. Let's get back to the party. Glenn said he's going to show me how to drive a tank. Ah, oh, wait, what about doing it on my desk? We could do it all the time when you work here. Nothing mixes better than sex and work. Reagan, think. What? Um, nothing. No, I know that look. That's the I have an idea, but I don't want to say it look. Like the time you wanted to use Cheetos as croutons. Damn it! Settler, take off your clothes! Okay, how many people did you tell about my, you know... God, I hate working for the Illuminati. The mind erasing, the lies, my asshole co-workers. I should just get a regular job. Doing what? I don't know, repairing old boats? I could fix up a schooner and we could sail to the Caribbean. A schooner's a boat, right? But bitching about our Shadow World jobs is how we got together. What are we going to talk about if you quit? Reagan, we have lots of other stuff to talk about. I, I'm the screw-up. I like you so much that I invited you on this insane trip just to ask if you would be my boyfriend. Why didn't you just ask me in the closet? I was insecure, and I, I thought you'd say no. And I definitely understand if you don't want to date now, no. but... I may have just lost the love of my life, and I just sent him this meme for some reason. Yikes. Well, I mean, maybe not everything is a stupid decision. Like what? Like this? 
Oh, wow. Enemies to lovers. That's never been done before. <clears throat> yeah, giant cliche. As if we would do that. I really want to, though. Very much same. <sighs> hey, the door was unlocked, and I don't oh, hear God. from you for days, and you're moving? I'm so Look, before you break up with me, I, I just want to say... I love you. Now you can search through every conceivable outcome and see them for yourself. Okay, I just need to find one reality where everything works out. We're moving forward. This is nice. What? Wait! No, 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 no! Maybe this one? Dad, this was never gonna work. You can't just hit a button over and over and expect a relationship to go back to the way it was. And I... Run! No! No, bad. Bad. Very bad. Ugh. Ugh. No, this is hopeless. There has to be at least one reality where we're happy. What if you being in charge was more of a permanent thing? Forever? But Reagan, you're my best friend and... I... <clears throat> and I got this. All I care about is, is that you're happy. thing that matters to me, which is why I made all of this. A scrapbook? Appleton, Wisconsin? What's in Appleton? Just a small town where nobody knows us. The perfect place for perfect memories. Low crime, good schools, two rocking chairs on the porch for when we grow old. Hopefully, together. This is it. This is the solution. Okay, on the count of three. One. Two, three. three. Ah! God, God damn, damn, that, that burns. burns! I never said I didn't want to date you. I just assumed you wouldn't want to date me. You're a brilliant scientist, and I'm just a guy who's too fucked up by the things I do for work to sleep at night. That's why I like you. I love you. I love you back. <sighs> I can't wait to finally be able to sleep at night. Something will always Your name is Martin Higgins. But we could live just outside Appleton, Wisconsin. Together. You had a hard time for a long time, but you did something I brave. A big decision, you took a chance on a new life because it. you realized that you deserved okay. one. Okay. I searched a thousand lifetimes for the one that would make you happiest. And you'll find it one day. Just without me. You're free now. Sorry that I couldn't be free with you. I'll miss you, Ron. And I know if it were possible, you'd miss me too. And as long as the person you love is happy, maybe you can be happy later. 